This is the Zanko S Pen or Smart Pen. Well, I guess they couldn't continue calling it the S Pen since Samsung. So they had, they've kind of changed the name to the Smart Pen. I managed to pick this quirky little gadget up and I gotta say it's quite an interesting piece of technology. Actually, when we first got it, we were mostly taken in by the novelty of it, you know, the pen-like design and everything. But over the last few days, it's proven to be quite the accessory as well. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and let's get this video on the Zanko Smart Pen started. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Now this is not something we regularly do, so if you want to see more videos on cool and weird tech like this one, drop a comment down below. So first off, let's see how you can use this quirky phone. Well of course it does have a earpiece, a microphone, a sim slot and even a micro SD card slot. So you can use it as a standalone device, make calls, receive them, send messages and whatnot. But it also has Bluetooth on board, which means you can use it to connect with your phone using the smart pen as a Bluetooth dialer, as an accessory to your phone. And to my surprise, the call quality on the smart pen was pretty good as well. It's surprisingly usable as a smartphone accessory. And thanks to its shape and that included nib at the bottom, it doubles up as a fairly competent stylus. You can use it with pretty much any phone or tablet out today, as long as it has a capacitive screen, which every phone and tablet today has. The top also holds a laser pointer that might come in handy during meetings and presentations or just playing around with your pet. Now that is not the only party trick that the smart pen has up its sleeve. It can convert your wired headphones into wireless ones. How you ask? So with most manufacturers ditching the headphone jack and their devices, most of us are being forced to either carry around dongles or move away from our favorite pair of headphones. But with the smart pen connected to your smartphone via Bluetooth, you can use the headphone jack on here to connect your headphones and voila, you now have wireless headphones. It is a convoluted process, I know, I know, but it is a pretty nifty little feature, so I decided to just show you guys that. Of course, it is not just music you can listen to, the smart pen does have video playback capabilities as well, but considering how tiny that display is, I'd suggest you leave that one to your smartphone. Also, while Zanko would like to tell you that the cameras here are for capturing those fleeting moments, Reality is, they aren't really usable. I mean, you guys can judge for yourself from all these shots. Now, I'm not complaining after all, for a Kickstarter product that costs only $49 or 3,500 Indian rupees, the smart pen does very well. The whole design and look of it is quite novel and interesting, and at that price point, I am happy with the range of functions it offers. The battery life too is okay, especially when you take into account that most people are gonna have it on standby for most of the time. Also, we have a voice recorder built in that we used to record this part of the video. Well, not that great. It is usable for situations where you might want to take a quick note. We also have some features like remote shutter for your smartphone and Bluetooth notifications, but for some reason we couldn't really get those two working. But then this is a fun product with a cute look, thus I wouldn't really dig deep into it. I mean, it is a novelty item for sure. So if you like how it looks, if the idea of having a phone as small as this that also happens to be a stylus fascinates you, then the smart pen by Zanko is for you. As a standalone device, I wouldn't suggest anybody to go out there and buy one, but as something like a smartphone accessory that can in a pinch serve as an emergency phone, the smart pen seems quite neat. But that's just my opinion, now I want to know what you guys think. Would you actually pay 3500 rupees for this product? Do you think it's too much money or too little a phone? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, it is time I bid you adieu. Please share this video with friends and family if you can. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on what you felt about the video. Subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And I'm signing off for now. Signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.